our message, Let There Be Light, taken from Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3. As we contemplate in the first five verses of our text, the beginning of time, our text tells us in verse 5 and the second part, and the evening and the morning were the first day. The evening, a 12-hour period. And <clears throat> the morning, a 12-hour period, were the first day. What a text that describes for us the beginning of time, beginning of the creation of life. In darkness, well, you, you, you cannot see. And so God created, God gave light, and God made, as it were, sight to us. So our text tells us here in Genesis 1 verse 4 that God divided the light from the darkness and he called the light day and the darkness he called night. And here was a description of the beginning of time. Here was a description of how life began or how uh, time began in the universe and how God created. And this light that came was by the spoken word of God. Now, what do you understand by the power of the spoken word? Well, turn with me to John chapter 1. John chapter 1 to give us an uh, understanding of what the Lord is saying here when He began creation and when light first come into existence. Genesis, uh, John chapter 1 and verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, here is a description of the spoken Word of God that created the universe. In Genesis 1 verse 3, we said, And God said, and here is given the Word, the spoken Word. Now, what does it mean to us? Well, the spoken word is a description of the second person of the Godhead, our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by the word that the universe came into being. And so the Lord wants us to think as we think about the spoken word or what God said and how it amounted to what was created. This word, the second person of the Godhead, our Lord Jesus Christ, before his incarnation, in other words, before Christ took on a human body, Christ was in the beginning with the Father, his eternal existence before his incarnation. And so the word of God describes for us this beginning. And it says here, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So this word, the second person of the Godhead, our Lord Jesus Christ, was there in the beginning. And here it is said that this second person, the Word, 
was that which caused the universe to come into its existence. So our Lord Jesus Christ was the maker. He was the word. The word was spoken and he was that which made the world. And so verse 3 says, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And so as we think about God and his creation, how he began to bring light into existence, we think of the power of the spoken word. We think of the second person of the Godhead, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's described as the Word. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And it's interesting that it is described here that in Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Light is here describing life. Verse 4 of our text says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And so when God created through his word, it was his word that imparted life. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Now the word there is used to describe life linking to light. And verse 5 is interesting. And as you think about this light as in contrast to darkness, verse 5 says, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth it not. Now, when God created the deep, the earth, there was darkness. And then God created light. When He created light, uh, there was a distinguish. Uh, uh, God distinguished that light. And the Lord wants us to see and learn that this was a description of the lights that represented the life that came through the second person of the Godhead, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And verse 9 says, That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And so he was the maker. He was that light. He was the one that gave light. He is the one that gave life. And that life was distinguished from darkness. And that life was distinguished as life that ultimately manifests itself in the life of men. That is the life that came to us ultimately in the creation. And so the Lord wants us to think and consider as we beginning, see the beginning of this creation, that God created this universe and He sets the light to distinguish from the darkness, he also seeks for us to understand uh, imagery that he wants us to see and learn that this light that was created in the beginning at first was representative of life that would come Later, as described here in John's Gospel, chapter 1 and verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness 
comprehendeth it not. Now you contrast this with Genesis chapter 1 and verse 4. God divided the light from the darkness. And here you see when God created and he distinguished the light from the darkness, well, he was later using this creation act to describe a difference between a man who is made by God in the image of God who knows him and a man who is made in the image of God in the likeness of God and who does not know him here is described for us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 9 that was that true light or John chapter 1 verse 9 that was that true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not he came unto his own has and his own received him not but as many as received him gave to them gave he power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name which was born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of men but god and here is described for us the maker the spoken word that brought light into this world how we need to know him how we need to get acquainted with him our lord jesus christ and verse 14 of our text says and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth as we think about god and the beginning of creation how time began on that first day and how god gave light to mankind the lord wants us to see and the lord wants us to understand that beginning that life that came to us through our lord jesus christ first came right, through his spoken word and the lord wants us to know that this spoken word of god is none other than our lord jesus christ the second word the second person of the godhead who was there who was the one that caused uh, the light to come upon this earth uh, he is the one that manifests himself to us so that we may know him the creator so this is what i believe is the link as we think about god and the beginning when he first made light what is the purpose and how he distinguished it from darkness and how light is a description of life to us and how it is linked later to the lord jesus christ the giver of life he is the light of the world and so i believe when we study this text of the beginning and 
the creation of the first day and God giving the light and he distinguished the light from the darkness, well, he wants us to see the power of the spoken word that links us to the second person of the Godhead, our Lord Jesus Christ. That he is the maker, that he is the one that created all things and that he is also the one that sustains all things and he is also the one that came to dwell in human flesh to dwell among us so that we may see this creator God the one that gave us this universe and this life to us and that we may know him and that we may love him we may thank him for he is the one that came in order that he may reconcile us to God. He is the light. He is the maker. And it's interesting that God, through John, described for us this light, how this light shineth in darkness, and how the darkness will not receive that light. And so in creation, we see the same thing. God sends the light in order to distinguish the light from the darkness. The link to life, our life, that light. How can we fully understand and learn and know? Well, we say this, that light was part of the initial creation. And it's the opposite of darkness. And God called, and God himself is called light. And it is a fitting description, a fitting title to describe what is pure, what is beautiful, what is beyond human understanding. And we are told how we need to let the light shine forth in our hearts the light of god's word the light of understanding of our origin shine forth in our hearts so that we may know who we are so that we may know where we come from so that we may be able to understand the purpose of our creation so may the lord strengthen us to know him better as we continue this study of the book of genesis let us pray father we thank thee for thy word thank thee for thy grace in sending light in creating life the beginning of time O lord may thou teach us Guide us, help us to see that light in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the one who came to, upon earth to dispel the darkness of sin in our hearts. O oh Lord, when thou sayest, let there be light, may we say, let there be light that will shine in every dark heart 
so that evil, so that darkness may be dispelled from the heart. O God, may Thou kinder understanding, light, life to such a soul who may be struggling with sin, struggling in the darkness of iniquity and transgression, that Thy Word, the light, the Lord Jesus Christ, may shine forth to illumine, save such a one. This I pray with thanksgiving through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.